greetings and welcome back again to Globix Gaming Channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, simple reason is um, my computer died and died in quite a spectacular way. Um, it's took me four days to fix it. Um, whatever could go wrong went wrong. It was horrendous. It's not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> it was horrendous. Now, a lot of things went wrong with the uh, the operating system and that basically screwed the whole machine up. Which basically meant that I couldn't do anything with Windows. I couldn't do anything with uh, any of the programs that I'd installed. Thankfully I didn't lose any data, which is the main thing. So this allows me to show you Husky's replay in his Crusader. Now, I've played a few times with Husky in the past and as you can see from his stats, right, he's played about 4k games, he hasn't got the best efficiency, he's got an average win ratio um, and to be honest he's playing on, for me, the worst map in the game in possibly one of the worst light tanks in the game. Um, I did not have fun in the British Crusader at all. Uh, but he does a good showing, so that's why I decided to uh, to show this battle. So he's took up the uh, H6, H7 area of the map, um, which on El Haloop is a strategically important place to do, to get a hold of if you can in the early stages. You tend to get uh, lights and mediums contesting this area very early on in the game, but by the looks of things, at this kind of tier, doesn't happen. Higher tiers, you'll struggle to get down there without a scrap. Um, but it seems that Husky has. Now, he's got very little support because at the lower tiers, although he'll spot them, they actually physically won't be able to see because if you just take into account the where this Electo is now, it's one, two, three, four, five, five hundred meters to this area where that AT2 is. I don't think that Electo can actually see the AT2. Um, I might be wrong, but I've had issues seeing things in my Hellcat from there. Uh, at that position, so it's nothing Husky's doing wrong. It's the fact that this tier, this map, is it's a, it's a kilometre across. So you're going to have issues getting support. So just bear that one in mind, guys, when you're going up this side in a lower tier game. Higher tier is great because they, they've got usually got a, a, an okay view range, but not always. So he's alone up here. Uh, he's got a KV1, and the Electos finally realised actually. The Electro would have seen that guy come upon his map because he's in radio range of the uh, Crusader, but he wouldn't have actually been able to physically see him. So the Electro's decided, okay, I need to close in, which is a good thing from him. So he's working his way up the ridge here. There's a battle, the inevitable battle is going on up here in A2. You know, the heavies and the, the, the heavier mediums have got up there to die, and all the tank destroyers are camping like they normally do, like a bunch of freaks, even though they probably won't be able to see the enemy. But then again, it's World of Tanks, so what do you expect at this tier? You know, the people at this tier are learning. You know, it's when they get to tier 10 and do that, it becomes a problem. So, he knows the AT2's there. Um, so he's just going to have a poke, using the rocks as cover. He spotted him again, and the AT2 is not looking at him. Now, the gun on the Crusader. Uh, the six-pounder, which I believe the gun he's using is a six-pounder. Um, it's got 110 millimeters of penetration and 75 average damage. So more than enough if you get around the back of an AT2 there like you did to take it to pieces. And setting him on fire is never a bad thing either. So he's taken out one kill now. He's still up here alone. The Electo is making his way up here. And there's quite a few, as it turns out, some dangerous tanks up here. Now, this T-34, I don't know how this guy didn't know Husky was there. He looks AFK. This is basically free damage. It's just free. look at the rate of fire. Awesome rate of fire. But it gives the stug a chance to re maneuver. There's two stugs up there. In fact, there's two or three stugs up there. Um, the hallmark of the British tanks is always good aiming time, good accuracy, uh, low alpha damage, but high penetration. So it, they're good DPM cannons, and DPM for me always wins over alpha. So. To me, now, if I was Husky, I would be thinking of waiting for the KV-1, but can you power slide a Crusader? You're damn right you can. Awesome power slide. I would have definitely done what Husky did there, get out of dodge. Yeah, there's far too many enemy tanks up there that know you're there, 
and put some damage into the cap circle. There's three enemies in the cap circle and the fucking tank destroyers on our team are sat there doing nothing. They're sitting there camping, expecting somebody else to do all the spotting for them. But, when you're on this map, ladies and gents, that's what the enemy do. They want you to come down one at a time so they can take you out. And two people have fallen to the bait, fallen in the trap. Look at them. They're going straight down there and they're going to get leathered. But, it's not Husky's problem. You know, he's got well, his own work to do, his own tasks. So, two tanks going to have that stug. Three tanks now going to have that stug. And they're all going to get smashed. Let's just pay particular attention to it. Look at it in the top corner. What is the AT2 doing up there? Why is the AT2 in A3? <laughs> Why is he up there? Anyway, we digress. So Husky's having a bit of an issue now. Alright, the KV-1's about to die. And there's four angry enemy tanks up here. So, he's in serious, serious trouble. Uh, RNG let him down there. He hasn't got 100% crew on this tank. Um, so the aiming time isn't fantastic. So he's alone against three tanks up here. So he's having to get a hell out of dodge. And it's a bit of a... Um, Ring of Ring of Roses at this point. Shoot the stug. Keep going. Keep going. That stug will out DPM you all day. And we're power sliding again. F3 lead. Turd on tracks. Take out the turd. Get the enemy, your own friendlies, to hit him. Use the F3 lead as cover. I'd have straightened up there personally. Unfortunately, though, he gets taken out, but gets taken out in turn by our own team. Um, I thought that was worthy of a watch. The simple reason is that's probably the best I've seen Husky play. Um, he didn't have much luck with me when he was playing uh, alongside me. And he actually is on record as quoting that, Why is it whenever I play with you, Globs, I always suck? Um, so just to prove to him, okay, that wasn't a bad effort at all. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was impressed by that. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, guys, he hasn't sent me the um, post-game stats, so that's me signing off for now. Take care. I'll be back in a moment with a Panzer 3 game. Take care. Bye now.